Hi, this is Max Alexander, Chief Product Officer and Co-Founder at Ditto. Today, I'll talk about an exciting new feature of the Ditto Edge Sync platform for version 4.7. Ditto's mesh network is ultimately powered by a unique data collection called Presence. As you can guess, Presence powers the Presence Viewer and is the underlying infrastructure for detecting connections between devices. Historically, Ditto has only allowed the manipulation of one field called device name. We introduced this feature so developers can specify differentiating or identifying peers within their use case. Perhaps you need to know which device is the kiosk, the printer, or simply Max's iPhone. The device name property was convenient but limited in some ways. In iOS 16, it became impossible for customers to specify a device based on the system name. Customers who tried to set this data from uidevice.current.name in iOS 16 saw that their presence viewer would only say iPhone for every iPhone device instead of something like Max's iPhone or front desk kiosk. In addition, device name could only accept a 24-byte limited string, meaning rich information wasn't possible. Often we saw customers force JSON strings into device name and attempt to parse out this information, creating an unnecessary level of complexity for the developer experience. Finally, device name wasn't mutable after you called start sync. This means that mobile devices with additional information, such as state or location data, would require a full stop sync and start sync to call for an update to propagate. In Ditto version 4.7, we believe that peer information should be robust with mutable data and real-time updates, similar to how developers can put robust document data into the Ditto store. We introduce a new property on the Ditto peer object called peer metadata. This property will accept a map of keys and values. You can think of peer metadata as a document property. Unlike device name, Peer metadata does not require any restarting of synchronization to reflect changes to other peers. Changes are instantly synced to other devices inside of the mesh. This property is also rich in security protection as changing the property is only allowed from the mutating peer. Mutations of the peer metadata are signed by the mutating peer. So you can be assured that the peer metadata of the remote peer hasn't been tampered with or mutated by some other peer. However, even though this property is peer assigned, it's recommended that user identification information be used with caution. For example, putting information such as user IDs or names and relying on the authenticity isn't advised because nothing stops 10 peers from saying that they are Max Alexander. So it's best to understand that peer metadata is authentic from the remote peer, but the input could be arbitrary. For identifying information, stay tuned for another update and another video on identity service metadata, a remarkably similar property where only the identity service can be the mutator. This property was particularly designed to house identifying information that a peer can trust, such as usernames, emails, phone numbers, and so on.